Hello and welcome to the workshop at Red Mains, up above the normal cutting room where we've been. Excuse how I'm not particularly looking like a tailor, um, but I've been in here very early this morning. I'll probably be here quite late this evening and I'm not seeing anybody, only you. So there you go. Um, why have I invited you here? There's a couple of jobs that I'm working on and to me, they represent what Savile Row and the sport tailoring is all about. And uh, the nice thing is, it excites me. And I know a lot of you, probably by the end of this short video, will go, well, he is really weird. Why does it excite me? <clears throat> because, just wait, let me hang this up. Something I arranged earlier. Look at this good looking guy here. So this was me um, at Red Bend here um, <clears throat> in about 1984-ish. And we were off to a Royal Warrant Holders dinner and um, it was a very grand affair with Michael and I. And they were very exciting times and I was learning about the trade and I was looking at all the different things we were doing. And anybody who's involved in this business will understand that there is always a crisis. No matter how much we seem to plan, no matter how much we seem to plan ahead and take precautions, um, we always end up burning the midnight oil. We always end up panicking and getting the job done through. And when it's in a hurry, the tailor will put a hole in it and then we have to order more cloth and it's, it's always like that. So basically, ever since I was 18 years old, I've always been used to um, the pressure that comes with this business. So therefore, working late at night or early in the morning is part of it. Now then, the plus side of that is, is, is the trade, is what we do, okay? And as a young man, if you go back 40 years, of, in, in my experience, and you go back another 40 or 50 years, what I find is lovely is that we are still making the same stuff. Now, a little brief story to explain why I wanted to share this with you. We are making a couple of double-breasted suits I, because of the circumstances, Peter, we're all busy doing different things. I'm going to get the pleasure of pressing these off tonight and we'll button them and we've shipped them. We're going to get them off to FedEx tonight because they're, they're wanted for something very important. But what I love about this is these two suits are meant for a couple of brothers, are for a couple of brothers. I've made for the father for a number of years. And what is so wonderful about it is it's their first bespoke suits. Okay, and what do they pick? They pick exactly the sort of thing that this young tearaway was working and pressing on late at night to get ready, ready 40 years ago. And they're still beautiful and they're still timeless. So there's lots of people out there who are new to bespoke, interested in bespoke, you know, want to, want to learn so much about it, or thinking about buying the sport, heaven forbid. So let's just have a look at something that epitomizes that, but it's just so simple. I, you know, I, I don't want to disappoint anybody because there's nothing super exciting here. It is simple and it's beautiful. So let's, this has been pressed off by me. Um, it's not been properly baked yet because we've got to button it and when we button it, of course, we're going to put creases in it. Um, but you know, this is a Holland Cherry, if anyone's interested, 292051. And that is about 10, 11 ounce English mustard. Um, so it's exactly the same thing we've been making for for generations. But look at the style of it. Now, these two guys are very young, okay? late teens. Um, first of all, the double breasted. How cool is that? That is, that is just wonderful. When I was a young man, I used to wear double breasted all the time because I was nice and slim. These two boys, 
they are really good clove sauce so it's going to look good on them but let's just look at the detail and hopefully learn something learn about how easy it is double breasted the guys are so slim they don't even fit on this old workshop mannequin which is an old Ken and Linzel it's been here forever what I want to try and point out to you is first of all the style of it okay this is going to have four buttons and two show buttons it's got straight flaps with square corners small details square corners always on a double breasted okay side vents um, really quite unusual but very subtle lining look at that okay there's nothing shocking there it's it's personal that's what it is it's just a personal choice I hope you can see this softness look at it look at the way that roll just falls into there I mean it's just as good as it gets the shoulders really simple no no heavy roping no standing out look at that look at the softness in it now then this is where it gets a bit peculiar because I'm going to talk about things that you might go well I don't know what he's talking about in fact I know people do say I don't know what he's talking about but I don't care I'm going to talk about it <clears throat> the lapel can you see the slight belly it's not overkill any idiot can put a big curve on a lapel but it's not clever, it's clumsy. Any idiot can make a great big thing out here with big points, makes a statement, yeah, makes a statement, I guess. We're not interested in that. We're not interested in that. You've got this lovely point, okay? Coat maker's done a gorgeous job in it. It's got a slight belly, it's got a soft roll. It's a sort of generous lapel. It's what I always like. I like things to be generous and rich. I don't like these big bold statements because to me that detracts from what the garment is. Okay, it's just like, yeah, I cut big lapels or I cut things really high and whatever. I'm not interested. Okay. The, the interior details, look at this, two bezel jet pockets. Okay, um, we can do all the fancy things that go on. But you know what? We're not interested. In fact, I tell people, you don't want to be putting things in your inside pockets anyway. Um, this is the best bit. I'm running out of things to say. Cuff details. Too real, too sham. Okay, we've got to button that. That's it. English cloth, English make. Simple, understated, soft elegant to my mind it's a work of art and that is exactly what i was working on 40 years ago when i was standing here pressing a job off for a customer that wanted to get away now um i just hope and pray that in 40 years time this is still what's coming out of red mains okay now um we're going to Get this pressed up and we might put them on a slimmer mannequin downstairs and you can enjoy looking at the pictures in the end and you can make your own decision um, but me speaking personally this is as good as it gets it's as good as it gets gray english double-breasted suit end of story